Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're checking out the Azul Byte Plus PC. Now the folks at Azul asked us if we wanted to check this out, and we said definitely because this is not our first rodeo with a mini PC. We've checked out the Intel Nooks in the past, and I have to say while they are great, they require a lot of assembly, and seriously, not everyone wants to do this. Actually, probably it's just me. So we have the Byte Plus PC here. Now it comes in two variants, two gigabytes of RAM with 32 gigabytes of storage, as well as four gigabytes of RAM with 64 gigabytes of storage at 169 and 189. Uh, the back you've got two USB 3.0 ports, uh, single USB 2.0, VGA, HDMI, Ethernet, uh, as well as also a headphone uh, jack. You also have a micro SD card slot on the right hand side uh, and that antenna at the back for Wi-Fi. Uh, in terms of build and look, I like the overall finish. This thing looks compact, slick, something you can tuck away within the living room or uh, hide somewhere in the office. It doesn't take up space and also just kind of fits in with your decor, which is something I actually appreciate with this. Now, in terms of scaling and functionality, that's one thing I love about this. Doesn't matter what monitor or screen you use, this is my 65 inch 4K TV. Uh, on, upon setup, it scaled automatically, which is something a lot of PCs don't even do that well. So I like the fact that it was easy to do that. Now, in terms of also using it for an entertainment hub, it was easy to set up and you know watch things like on Netflix, whether it's of course on, on Hulu uh, or Sling, uh, Plex, you name it. I was able to to use that quite well. Now the variant uh, of the Azul I'm using here is the two gigabytes of RAM with 32 gigabytes of storage. And I was able to run all that as well as also watch my Xfinity cable uh, off the browser. So you can see that works pretty well. Now in terms of usage, you can actually use it with a, uh, of course, a keyboard like this one here, which is a wireless keyboard or the Intel remote app, which I highly recommend, which you can download an Android or iOS device, allows you to use your smartphone as a keyboard and mouse and it's quite effective especially with this so you can sit down on the couch and just comfortably navigate through the menu because you pretty much have a you know a touch screen keyboard or mouse with you and you can go ahead and do all the kind of functionalities you want to now uh, in terms of, of what you get here you get windows 10 uh, on this device 64 bit uh, so you, you're getting you're getting a nice solid build of windows on here plus uh, you have a really smooth functionality on this device as, as I said before you can expand and the storage via micro SD to give you more storage options here with this device. So you can store, install applications on there, uh, make, I uh, use it as also another form of storage. Now you have full access, of course, to the windows, uh, app store. And if you're looking for games, I suggest you download the windows, uh, uh, application games. So things like modern combat. Those are the kind of games you can play on this device. If you're looking to do any kind of gaming on this, I do have to say, considering the price point and what you get in terms of functionality, I'm quite impressed what Azul has to offer here with the Byte Plus Mini PC. Uh, you're getting something that's either priced at 169 or 189 that you can use to watch, view, as well as use as a full Windows PC. So doesn't matter where you are, what kind of um, functionality you want to use this for, you can definitely use it and you can take it with you because it's really portable and it's light. So if you guys have any questions or any comments or looking to pick this up, use the links down below. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.